There's been a lot of talk about the war on poverty after Baltimore and the tragic death of Freddie Gray as people tore up the city and burned down buildings, similar to 1968, and some buildings have been rebuilt since then. Uh, 50 years after the war on poverty, after $22 trillion, we really haven't won the war on poverty. There are reasons for that, the breakdown of the family. Certainly, families in the inner city and African-American families are less nuclear, less together than they were. 50 years ago. The liberal argument is that the factory closed, went to Malaysia or China, so therefore dad can't get a job and dad has sold drugs for money and gone to jail, whatever the case may be. Uh, the conservative argument says BS, if you have children, you gotta be there as a father, whether you have money or not. There's no excuse to abandon your child. I, by the way, believe in that. Don't give me this about I can't take care of my kid or be there for my kid because I have no money. We all have tough times. Uh, the other point is, uh, the factory did close 15, 20 years ago. We have no jobs. Well, there are ways to get jobs to come back. I've talked about it ad nauseum, overhaul the tax code, give it an incentive for companies to write off employment and labor, not write off debt, uh, maybe get rid of the corporate income and the share for share of the payroll tax and have a 9% VAT so you can have companies manufacture again. If they export, they get a credit against that value added tax. That's beside the point. We start at home, we start with families. Uh, kids need at least one significant adult to have a chance. Somebody has to make the kid do his or her homework. And we get all A's because you show up every day in inner city school because that's a high standard. That's not going to hold up in college if uh, you were given the A because then you drop out of college because you can't do college work. These are co all complex problems, but we do say this. We start with fathers paying attention to their kids. There's no excuse for them to leave. From that point forward, we need programs to help kids all the way through with mentors and uh, give them the kind of nurturing they need, and then we can work on the jobs at the other end. Those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can redo your kitchen, your bathroom, your bedroom, your staircase, make your home feel just like home.